can't believe I'm even making this video. Today, we took a loss. The winning streak is over. We suck at trading. What are we ever gonna do now? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another trade breakdown. Breaking down a position I took here on the NASDAQ this morning. So took a slight loss this morning and I thought why not break it down for you guys here and give you all full transparency. We've been on a fantastic run recently of taking really, really good winning trades. I posted my September performance on my Twitter so you can go and check that out. And now we're in a brand new month and we're ready to crush out a fantastic trading day yesterday. And then today we took a minor loss. So we're gonna break it down and run through it with you guys because the actual technicals and the setup was perfect. It was exactly to the plan. However, there'll be times where the market has other ideas and just goes to do other things. And that's totally okay. You have to accept that um, and be okay and understand that that's just part of trading. You could have the best trading plan in the world. You will still never have a 100% win rate, nor is that the goal. If your goal is to win every single trade, then unfortunately you're going to struggle. So you have to accept it, embrace it and move on. So Let's jump straight out the charts. All right, so here we have it, looking at the NASDAQ. So it actually ended up playing to absolute perfection this morning, but it's just unfortunate to get caught off by manipulation that ended up actually happening twice. Usually these retail traps happen and they play out to absolute perfection, but unfortunately then we manipulated a lot higher um, and then I was able to take the long, so it took three positions this morning, closing the day, minus $286, um, sorry, 200 and $260 as it stands right now. Going to be jumping on a live with the community in 20 minutes to potentially look to take some more positions or call it a day. But let's jump in and let me just show you guys the executions so you can see. There we go. Here's the executions. Okay, so let's take a look and replay. Once I replay, the positions will go, but I'll show you guys the entries and exits after. Um, so let's skip it to here. Okay. Now, first thing we did when we came into the session is I noticed a very nice level there and on the S&P, this was a lovely double top. So I knew this high was gonna get taken, but all I was looking to play first with the first short was for price to come and take out these lows before then having that move back up. So, so I noticed we had this double bottom here and what I was waiting for was price to come up into these regions so I could then short it. And we actually did that very, very well. I ended up taking a short around here with my stops just above there. I'm looking for this to have a really nice play back down. Lovely entry, fantastic, fantastic entry. Close with a really strong five minute candle close. And I thought, fantastic, this is gonna come take these lows and push a little bit lower. And then the five minute had other ideas, closed bullish, and I ended up cutting this position at break even. So close that first position at break even. And what price finally did then was liquidated the highs, which I was like, fantastic. Now we're gonna take the highs and then we're gonna take the lows and potentially push lower. So whenever we're in a range, we have the liquidity grab and then we have the real move. So I was like, okay, cool. We have the liquidity grab. The S&P's taking out the double top with an aggressive push back down. The NASDAQ's taking out the double top with an aggressive push back down. And we can see this even clearer on the 15 minute right here. We close with a very strong 15 minute bearish candle. So I was then on out, pretty much like, okay, perfect. We've liquidated the highs. We've broken a level of support. We've closed with a strong 15 minute candle. I am going to go short. And I went short somewhere around here with my stops just above there. Looking for this to have a 50 to 100 point move down for a fantastic risk reward. And this is a setup that I would take time and time again and that I will still continue to take because it works very, very well. And from what you guys have seen from the trade breakdowns, you know that it works well as well. So fantastic entry. And then the 15 minute then closed bullish again. So it was even more manipulation. Um, and I ended up getting stopped out of this position for minus $1,000, minus $1,052 because I took two contracts. I usually trade one, but I took two contracts because the setup was that nice that I was like, it's giving me another entry. I'm going to take it. So I took it. We got stopped out. No problem. And this is the reason that you don't get emotional to your losses. Okay. If you take a loss, you accept it. If the trade gives you an opportunity for you to take the other side, guess what? you take that as well with no hesitation. And that's exactly what I did. So price then closed with a very, very strong 15 minute candle closure. And all I was looking for price to do was come back down, liquidate this low here, and then I was then going long. So I took a long position here, I believe, with my stop somewhere just below here um, and closed majority of it around this high for $810 gain. So minus 1,000 on the two contracts short. Um, and then we had a nice, $800 gain, so taking us to minus 261 for the day, which is very, very well played. 
This is the importance of not having an ego, not having a bias, and simply being completely in the zone to execute the other side. A lot of retail traders, they'll take a loss and then they'll be frustrated. Their plan will go out the window. They'll either revenge trade and blow loads of money, but most of the time they can't accept that very often the market gives you an opportunity for you to cut your position and take the other side and make back your losses and more. I could have actually made back more of my losses today. However, the five minute, once we were getting around these regions, if we skip it on one, we're starting to slow down. Um, and I was pretty much like, look, I'm just gonna cover 80% of the loss, go into the US session minus $260 and look to see what that brings. Now, if we come out of the replay tool, there you go, you guys can see the positions here. So that was the very, very first short, short there, short there, um, looking to cover down here, but ended up closing most of it there. And then price liquidate the highs, broke lower. So it took a short there and then another short there and then ended up closing it at a loss up there. And then this is then when we flipped and took the other side where price broke back down, came, gave us an entry and told us, look, shorts aren't working. This is an opportunity for you to go long. I listened to the markets, took a long there, took another long there, and then I covered into these highs here. A very, very choppy morning, but very, very well played and very well executed. To come out only minus $260 is fantastic. So now I'm gonna wrap up here. We are gonna go live with the community in 15 minutes. Um, but this video is just to show you guys that look, regardless of how profitable your plan can be, we had a fantastic month in September. The losses will always be just around the corner and you never want to be greedy. You never want to be excited about your wins and think that you're on absolute cloud nine because at any given time that you do that, the market's always, 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 always going to come back and humble you. So you have to deal with the losses, accept them, accept that you're never gonna have 100% win rate because that's not your job as a trader. And you come back, you execute position, you take the loss. If it gives you the opportunity to take the other side, guess what, you take that as well and you stick to your plan. If you don't have a plan, you need one, okay? It is absolutely vital for you to become a consistently profitable trader. So gonna wrap this up here. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you are new here, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'm gonna be doing these every single Wednesday, but for now, I'll see you guys on Sunday's video. Peace.